Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Orchard Farm, Homegrown Organics and this is our newest acquisition and I want to talk a little bit about it today. Uh, this is the Serta Garden Greenhouse, I don't know if you can read that, my shadow's in the way and if I turn it the other way I can't see the screen. It is supposedly um, three meters long, um, one point nine I think wide and supposedly 1.95 high but I'm 179 and that is only about eight nine centimeters above me so um, that's not the actual height um, as you can see it has a door it has four windows it's got these very pathetic little wouldn't even hold down a child's play tent um, pegs for the guy ropes which don't look to be the sturdiest of construction it is tied in a steel frame which is rather um, thin one can't argue though that it fucking works I've only just put this up and the temperature in here must be well into the 30s, the humidity is enormous, it's been on a power pole and of course it's had rain on it so that's now evaporating nicely and humidity wise it is just pretty much, um, it's like a sauna in here. Okay, um, I'm not going to make complaints about this too much, um, Serta I take it a Chinese company and we all know what you do with Chinese companies, um, they tend to make their money disappear and reinvent themselves and come back. So a couple of things for those of you who are interested who may have seen these um, advertised on the internet, they are around. If you've ever googled polytunnels or greenhouses, this one tends to come up a lot. It came through Dick Smith, which is an Australian company. It's uh, got branches in New Zealand and seems to be concentrating mostly on online sales in New Zealand these days. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about them. I'm going to direct any criticism that's not of workmanship towards Dick Smith, uh, mainly because I ordered this on the 23rd of November and it was supposedly uh, supposed to arrive on the 7th of December. Shortly after I ordered it, I got a new email telling me it would arrive on the 7th of January, which I wasn't particularly too worried about. Came 7th of January, I got another email telling me it was going to arrive on the 7th of February, to which I fired off a rather grumpy email not only at the fact that the delivery date had been changed several times but that the um, price that was now being advertised was lower than the price that I paid for it back in November and I still didn't have my thing it, it did arrive about three four days ago so about the 14th of January um, just in time to miss midsummer not in time to actually get any crops um, ready to plant out for that particular season but never mind we'll we'll make the most of that so Dick Smith um, no communication from them at whatsoever it's like my email just disappeared into the Ethernet frankly I'm worried about if I have to claim on the warranty on this I don't think Dick Smith is going to be at all responsive so thumbs down for Dick Smith um, and if you don't like it Dick Smith and you see this maybe you should pull your finger out of your ass and do something about your customer fucking service Okay, pretty good most of it. Um, most of the construction was fairly good. Light and cheap. I mean, I paid $90 for it. I expected what I got. This uh, plastic, it feels, I mean, it feels reasonably good. Like I said, it's steel, it's powder alloyed. <sighs> Some of the circles that you connect things into were not circular. Some of them were a little bit um, too tight. And of course, you're going to get things I noticed. Powder coating, of course, came off. Some parts. So we're going to see some rust, I imagine, before too long in those things. How short that makes the life of this remains to be seen. You will notice that I have put duct tape on these joins here, like that, uh, because the way they had constructed the tubes and pressed them together left rather sharp pieces here that I didn't think was uh, conducive to a good life on this plastic covering 
if it was rubbing against it in any way. And as you can see, it, it's, um, it does tend to bow in quite a lot with the wind. Um, I've got this facing uh, basically north-south. Um, so the door to the north and back into the south. The predominant wind here is a westerly, though we do get rather nasty southerlies um, coming up from Antarctica. Um, beyond that, it was pretty easy to put up, even with the um, plastic, it was pretty easy to put up all by myself. A couple of things that I don't like, I don't think these zips are going to be up to much. Um, straight away looking at them, and I'm thinking that they look rather light, and that I can see that they are going to break. They also do not have an easy access from the inside and outside. So it leaves you with the idea that you have to actually open it up, come in and leave the door open, which if you're in any kind of wind whatsoever is just an invitation for this thing to take off like a rocket. It is light and it's got a hell of a sail area. So there's going to be some reinforcing done by taking it down. I have um, got some short waratahs that I think I'll be driving into the ground and securing it directly, the frame directly to those waratahs to prevent this thing from ending up in the neighbour's cow shed. Okay, beyond that though, I'm relatively happy. My bees, of course, as you can see, um, <laughs> are kind of a bit confused. This thing wasn't there when they went out to get some honey, and uh, now they're coming back. And you can hear the rain on it now. The temperature has dropped reasonably um, quickly as soon as the rain clouds came over. So actually of how much use this is going to be, I do not know. Um, I'm going to keep you guys informed. If you're interested in this, uh, let me know. I am not sponsored by Serta and I am not sponsored by Dick Smith. I have paid good money for this and um, frankly, like I said, I am not particularly impressed with Dick Smith service. Um, however, as you can see, some of the things here, um, some of the construction is not of the greatest quality to begin with uh, on this. So it'll be interesting to see how long it lasts. Um, it has got a warranty over a year I believe, or maybe it's two years warranty. Um, but as I said to you, I don't think that um, I've got any real confidence in Dick Smith and a zero confidence in Serta if, should I try to claim on that warranty. I believe that um, Serta will be a thing that nobody knows anything about. That company disappeared some time ago and Dick Smith will play a game of we don't know what you're talking about and we're going to ignore your emails. So the plan with this, I am not going to obviously turn it into a poly tunnel um, and fill it with dirt. I don't think that would work at all in here. It would, no, it would be nice if I could. Um, but for a start, I've got no headroom as it is. Um, so to put six inches of, of um, compost on the floor, I would end up with um, constantly stooped over trying to work in here. So it's going to be a container, a seedling raising, maybe some of the microgreens, we'll see. Um, some shelving in it. And really, want to get those vegetables and fruits that require that extra heat while we've got the summer and then those frost sensitive ones that we can elongate the season and then of course come uh, after winter we are going to um, start uh, frost sensitive frost tender seedlings in here um, so that we can end up putting them out early hopefully and hitting the markets when uh, Virtually nobody else has things like, you know, tomatoes. You can get them going in here. Should be able to get them out and growing well long before anybody else starts flooding the market with cheap tomatoes. That sort of thing. So I'll keep you appraised of it. Um, like I said, we'll see what happens. I'm expecting a fridge arrived today and it's not been the greatest of experiences either but at least it's been better than this one so Dick Smith if you are listening and you should be listening because I am one of your customers and I don't know whether I ever will be a customer of you ever again um, 
pull your head out of your ass when it comes to actually talking to your customers and make yourself available, pay some people, you know, you make enough money to pay some people to sit there and actually talk to people or email them online when they answer back and get your, f I, I know we're living in a COVID world, I know, I know that shipping schedules are all fucked up and everything else, but don't make promises to somebody and then try and deliver it two months after you promised it, having kept their money. Um, and for advertising it at a lower price than what I paid for it. I didn't see any refund on my account. Um, I didn't get any interest from the money that you were sitting in your account. So, you know, you can tell. A little bit, just a tad, over. Anyway, I'm going to go and have some lunch now. And um, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Have a good day.